So if you guys have seen my previous videos, then you would know that the Ziyun Weibo Lab is my current favorite gimbal to use at the moment. But there's a lot of people out there wondering if the Weibo can carry heavier camera setups because I'm using a Sony and that's like a super light camera. Well, unfortunately, it's not recommended, but don't worry, because I got you guys. Right here is the Crane 3 Lab by Ziyun. This gimbal can carry everything. And I mean everything. I'm talking about FS5s, 1DX, 1DX Mark II, C200, C300, whatever you throw at this gimbal, this gimbal can do it. So I know I have a small camera on here, but don't be fooled because this thing can carry almost any camera setup out there. The Crane 3 has a max payload of four and a half kilograms. That's a lot. So whatever camera setup you guys have, this thing should be able to carry it. So with the Crane 3, you're gonna get everything the Weeble Lab provided. You're gonna get the little detachable tripod. You're gonna get all the locks so you can lock down your gimbal if you're traveling. You're also gonna get all the same modes like Phone Go, Vortex, POV. You're gonna get all that. But the Crane 3 includes its own fixed handle. So you can just leave the little tripod on the bottom and you'll also have the handle up here. I actually like the way this is set up because with the Weeble, you couldn't decide at times if you wanted to shoot in regular or under slung mode. But with the Crane 3, you have both at all times. So with this handle, you have new buttons back here to control all your camera settings, such as your ISO, shutter speed, aperture. And behind the handle, you have what's called the zoom rocker. So the Crane 3 includes a focus motor and a zoom motor. And with the zoom, you can control that with this right here behind the handle. And if you're wondering about the battery life, I've been using this for a few days now and it's still good. So you should be fine. So after using this for a day or two, it honestly wasn't too bad. It is a little heavy though, even with my small mirrorless camera. So if you guys don't like heavy setups, then this gimbal probably isn't for you. But if you have cinema cameras like, you know, FS5s and all the heavy cameras, then I, I would probably recommend this gimbal to you. It worked well and you'll get smooth shots. So that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna be doing a separate video explaining the focus and the zoom motors and how to set it up. So make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see that video. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.